YouTube! Welcome back to another episode of Table Chico Cento. Today is Table 500 Christmas Edition. Let's take apart your terrible, amazing, yet also slightly belligerent replays on our master duel. Not the Reddit, sorry. My brain is all over the place today. Ah, well, we're just gonna wing this one. Let's go. All right, first replay up is replay number one. We've got Heroic Challengers. This was a rank 4 deck, aka Clown Blade, that was kind of popular in like 2015, I want to say. So let's see what we've done to adapt some of the newer Heroic Challenger cards. Like, I think this guy might be new. What does this deck make? We're special summoning Knuckle Sword. We're going Heroic Call. We've basically Pendulum Summoned. And there we combine and... Okay. It's a Rongo replay. Let cook. Mm-hmm. We're sitting on a Rongo. We're normal summoning Goblinburg. We're activating Morningstar. We're getting Heroic Envoy. And then we're adding Knuckle Sword. Special summon this. And if it's special summoned, do something into Clavlabpp. Pay 500. Pay until you have 500 left. Gain attack points. Battle phase. Attack for element. <laughs> What the fuck does that do? <laughs> the elemental he Destiny Hero Dyna Tag. <laughs> During damage count when you would take battle damage, discard this, make yourself take no battle damage, and then each player takes a thousand. <laughs> How do you lose after wrong going? Alright, next up, we've got a replay that is called... Visa Starfrost. Alright, so we might have a bit of a pile deck here. That ends on something, shall we say. We're gonna go Foxy Tune. Oh, we're summoning a- Ah! <laughs> MX Saber Inv- Oh! If I had a nickel for every Heroic Challenger card we've seen in Table 500 this week, I would have two nickels. Which is not a lot of money, um, but it's weird that it's happened twice. So anyway, we're gonna summon Vision Hero Vion instead of Armageddon Knight. That's, that's a change. Um, so that, that works, I guess. Uh, Isolde is basically everything in the game. So we've got that going for us. All right, we're setting up a Beatrice, and that also basically does everything in the game here. Uh, let cook and see where this goes. We're sending Summoner Monk willingly. That's uh, fascinating. Gonna activate the effect of the the, uh, the 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 denier to recycle the Mali to give us some more plays here. Up into Selene to bring back a Spellcaster. I guess that's how we get our Summoner Monk now. Bring back the Summoner Monk. That's gonna give us a uh, level any level four from the deck here. Ooh, into Dark Dorido. Now we're cooking. All right, revealing five different attributes, stacking them to the top of the deck, drawing with the Skull Dread, uh, rescue ferreting into a bunch of tuners. We're going to go into Stupid Bitch and search for a 800 attack uh, defense monster when it goes to the graveyard here. Bring out the Lone Fire with the Saryuja. Catty Corn can just search per Lorino, apparently. Um, and now we're going to use Junk Converter to bring back. Uh, she's going to search for the Creation Resonator. Pearl of Rhino searches Vsauce. Um, special summon the Rhino Heart with the Ancient Fairy Dragon. Shiren is going to fuse up into Kaleido Heart. You have a lot of nice Royal Rares. Vsauce pop Kaleido Heart, by the way. Kaleido Heart effect, bring itself back. Send Sulik. Sulik get a search for a monster. We're going to go for Tear Cash here. And... Oh, Manadium Prime Heart! Okay, alright. Did you know that he has Energy Blades with uh, a lot of pa I don't know the full copy pasta. Okay. Uh, here's Scareclaw Try Heart. We're gonna go and add Twin Saw. Uh, Disposable Learner Device, whatever that is. We got Power Tool Dragon as well, revealing three equips here. We're gonna go for the DD uh, thing. Banish the Sulik with the Tear Cash. Overlay into Arise Heart. I see what we're doing here. And ladies and gentlemen, the story has been complete. There it is. The entire journey of Visa Starfrost in one duel. Would you look at that? We got Astraloud, Triheart, Kaleido Heart, Prime Heart, Arise Heart, and Visa Starfrost. Honestly, this is just on principle of you achieving this, it's beautiful. Would you look at that? Uh, I got the copy pasta here that I'll read for you really quick. A Manadium Prime Heart has a special defensive ability that stops your opponent from targeting with card effects. No monsters facing Manadium Prime Heart will be safe due to its multiple energy blades. Find this powerful card in Cyberstorm Access releasing on May 5th. Aha. I see. Saga on YouTube. Shoutouts to Saga. He's, uh, he's, he's one of those content creators. You know those Table 500 combos you see? Ah, there it is. Okay. All right. Treasure Panda. 
We've seen this a few times. So how are we going to innovate upon the treasure panda strategy? Opponent's going to flip Fallen Sanctuary with Set's Divine Punishment, which is an Omni Negate, but we can't use it this turn. So that is what it is. Cup of Ace always tails, baby. We missed. Unlucky. Treasure Panda's going to banish the special summon a vanilla monster from the deck here. We're going to go for Exodia. Wonder Wand lets you uh, draw two off of it, though. Special another piece here. Send the Exodia piece to draw two more with the Spellbook card. Treasure Panda summons a Flamvel. We're going to upstart Goblin into Limiter Removal. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going with this? White Elephant Gift. Send the monster here to draw two. Malleting away a bunch of cards here. Digging for more stuff, I guess. We're going to go Treasure Panda Banish. Summon another uh, guy here. And it looks like we're going to be doing some Primal Seed Loops. Uh, so, oh god, there's Avarice as well. Alright, this one is going to take some setup here. Well, let's see what the payoff is. Gonna Avarice return all of the pieces and the vanillas to give more fuel to Treasure Panda. <laughs> We've drawn Slifer the Sky Dragon in our deck here. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I see where this bat chest is coming from. Putting a bunch of cards back here. We've got Chain Summoning, by the way. There's a Formula Synchron, okay. Gonna Synchro into something at some point. There's a Chain Link 3 Chain Summoning so that we can do more normal summons. Into the Void, we're just digging through our entire deck. Oh my god. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Obelisk the Tormentor, Ra and Slifer and Exodia are in this deck. Brother, what are you cooking? Cup of Ace always heads, baby! Your opponent draw two again? That's unlucky. I don't even know if you need the draw at this point, but sure. It looks like we're uh, doing everything in the game here. Alright, there's the Winged Dragon of Ra, paying his life points down. We've got 100 left on the clock here. Let's hope we don't get firecrackered. <laughs> there's the world. Okay. Treasure Panda, Banner, Special Summon, and Sink Away into Formula Synchron. Uh-huh, we're just, we're just digging still. Putting a bunch of cards back that we need to keep in deck for the Treasure Panda. And I think we're going to have the uh, Messiah activated at some point here. If you don't know what this card is, it's a Pendulum Monster whose Pendulum effect is literally just Macrocosmos. Which is uh, how that Primal Seed is going to work out. Okay, so how are we getting BLS on the field to... Uh... Fulfill the condition of Primal Seed, unless I'm misremembering how this works. If Envoy of the Beginning is on the field, target two of your banished cards and add them to your hand. Alright, let's see how we get there. There it is! The Chaos Emperor Dragon has finally hit the board. <laughs> Special Summon Slifer. Extra- Oh my god. Normal- S Slow that down real quick. Special Slifer. Normal Summon. Normal Summon because of the Chain Summoning that allows us to Normal Summon multiple times here. And this is where the rest of the combo goes. They are Machine Monsters. Activate- Machine uh, Limiter Removal to double the attack of all of the god cards. Limiter Removal. Banish it. Primal Seed. Add back the Primal Seed and the Limiter Removal. Is this a loop? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm going to activate card advance and just keep... Uh, I, I don't really know. I think it's the uh, part. It's just part of the loop here. Okay, how far can we do this? I mean, you could, you could literally keep doing this until Master Duel decides to break. Is really what, what you can do here. You can, you can make Master Duel break. There, there, there has to be a, a number because you can't exponentially, infinitely double a monster's attack point. So it, it maybe there comes a point where Master Duel shuts down on itself or something. But here we go. Ra is on. There it is. There it is. We hit the cap. We hit the cap. There's a cap. Nine, 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 nine. There it is. Battle phase attack. Um, nine, 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 nine plus is what the animation shows. That chest for sure. Whoa. We've got Sour Scheduling Red Vinegar Vamus. Never seen this card in my life here. Ujama Duel. And Pan Parallel Panzer, which equips to a Link Monster, which uh, you can move the Equip Monster to a main monster zone it points to of its controller's field. Interesting. Okay. We're going to collapse the ground here on this Dryden and then set four. Dryden pops the ground collapse. Unlucky. All right. Where is this one going here? Uh, we're going to use the Sour Scheduling. It's a continuous trap card, uh, which is just going to get popped by Dryden, it looks like. Okay. Unlucky. We're going to use another one, though. Whoa, we're bouncing away the Dryden and then blocking the zone here into Ojama Duo. <laughs> we're going to flip Solemn Warning on Ojama Duo. Okay. Um, 
Standby, main, into summon Fenrir. Fenrir is going to get a copy of Fenrir. Uh huh. Battle phase effect. Banish this face down. Well, there goes our win condition, I guess. Normal summon Ash Blossom into Card of Demise. How are you winning this? Attempts to pop the Ujama duo here. Activates the effect. Ah, that's how you won. Your master four opponent is negating Ojama duo. Sheesh. Okay. All right. Wow. What are they doing in master? Ojama duo apparently has a grave effect here. Oh, we're max seeing it. Does that do something? Chain the other Ojama duo. I am learning things today about Ojamas I did not know existed. Okay. Spe ha! Huh? <laughs> it just summons two from deck? Okay. <laughs> oh, we're gonna transverse with the Baron. Oh no, we got impermed. Oh, that's unlucky. All right, can we play through this? It's a what kinetic puppeteer? Unironically, in your hand, like we're just playing that for fun. It's a borrow low dragon. <laughs> oh, there's no shot. We're gonna steal Baron. Amazing. We're stealing Baron. Great. And we're setting fuse line and passing here. Okay. All right, Baron effect in the standby fate. Bro, there's no way. Bro, there's actually no way. Baron tagging into blue, Giga Chat. Uh, effect of what kinetic puppeteer? We're gonna move the dragon. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, to trigger the Fenrir for Fuse Line. Oh my god! <laughs> Destroy a monster in the same column. <laughs> All right, uh, well, uh, Fenrir can't out Borolod Dragon, unfortunately. Normal summon the what kinetic puppeteer. Effect of Borolod steal the Fenrir. Punch for 24 and 18 per game. <laughs> this was a master! This was a master! Oh my god. All right, what do we got here? This is called the basic plant combo. Okay. Let's see what the basic plant combo is. All right, we're gonna special summon a Therian Empress Alicia here. Reasonings into Mardell. Gets Madan. Madan tribute Mardell. That's gonna give us Con Con. Oh, sorry, Glamour. Glamour tribute the Madan. Gonna add Primula and a princess. Okay, this just looks like Rika so far with some shit cards on the field. Uh, link into Dance Beyond. We're getting it twisted here. Mill three. Plant, plant, plant. Well done. You're good at this game. Well, sometimes you just eat Ellie for three monsters, you know? It is what it is. All right, Strena's gonna detach to activate to add back a plant monster. We're gonna bring back the Lilyboria. Lilyboria attaching the Primula. Send the Primula, add a Disco Inferno. And there she is, El Criminale. Tributes into Lone Fire here, floats into the Oriya off of the Strena here. Lone Fire for Lone Fire, Lone Fire tribute Lone Fire, summon Evil Thorn, Evil Thorn tribute itself, summon two copies. Get the uh, Regulus with the Disco Inferno here. Now we're going to go into Princess Sprite. Stacking our deck with the Oriya. Now we can Sprite for Archfiend Oath. And we can declare the top card of our deck with Archfiend's Oath. And since we stacked it with Oriya, we knew it was Pot of Avarice. We rebounce the uh, Oath to the hand here. Declare the top card again. Now we've got Succession. Gonna activate the Hermitry for Hermitry. Remember, we know exactly what the whole of our top deck is right now. Now we're gonna go into Saryuja here. Saryuja draws four and puts back the cards. And uh, we're gonna Avarice. Recycle a bunch of these things here. And now it's at, now we're gonna summon the, the God Slime for the Egyptian God Slime. We're gonna search the True Sun God to add the Ancient Chant. Ancient Chant is gonna add Ra. Okay, sending two cards here. Drawing two with the Magician Soul. And we're going to bring out the Evil Thorn with the Rose Girl, summoning two more Evil Thorns. Tribute for the Slifer over the Egyptian God Slime into, into Firewall Singularity. Linking away next to the Singularity, triggering the Singularity. No, we're not going to summon yet here. We're going to go into uh, Cactus Champion for Dryas. Oh, and this is where we just do the plant combo, right? For Avramax, now we trigger the Singularity to bring back Equimax. Monster Reborn, target Hermitry. Hermitry effect, excavate Princess Sprout, gets the uh, Princess Sprout stacked to the deck here, makes it level 8, up into an Apollo. Is this legal? Wait, you can link someone like this? I've never seen a V-Link. <laughs> That's crit. Oh my god. I've never seen a V-Link before. Holy crap. 
Alright, anyway, uh, but wait, there's more here. Captain Sargass! Activate the sec effect of Sargass, get Regulus here. Uh, Link Succession, gonna bring back the, uh, Hermitry to the zone of Link Monster Points too. Gonna go into Teardrop here. Uh, and now we're gonna summon Regulus. By the way, this replay is called the Basic Plant Combo. <laughs> Just, oh, wow, yeah, that's a board. Um, you know, Slifer is actually a really good floodgate, by the way. Oh, the action! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! It's happening! Ball! But they, they still can't use their EMZ, by the way. This is so funny. Like, what is this game state? What is this game state? <laughs> okay, setting three, hold. Hold. Are we gonna lose this? Remove brainwashing. Okay, chain the Rika to tribute this. Chain threatening roar. All right, we have another. We have another turn. We have another turn. Okay. All right. There goes ball. Remove brainwashing. Teardrop gains some attack. Sargas targets a back row. Oh, detach the material. You pop a card. Chain the metal reflex line to summon it. Does it get popped here, or is it now considered a monster? It does get popped. Okay. Standby main. Carrot Champion, discarding peas. Sargas out of Disco Inferno. Activate the Millennium Revelation here. Discard. Adds back Monster Reborn. Uh, Rick, a girl in the graveyard. Tributes the special summon it back. New Field Spell for Disco Inferno. Monster Reborn. Target Firewall Singularity. Uh, we have been threatening Rort, so our opponent gets one more turn. We're going to summon Druva's Worm here. We're not going to use Apollosa. We're just going to bounce these cards back to the hand because it's once per turn with Singularity. So you can do it again next turn, I suppose. Five cards in hand. What can we do here? We're going to go Feather Duster. Chain Drew is Worm. You're trying really desperately here to, bet, to bait something, aren't you? Your opponent is just not biting on that Apollosa. All right. Uh, we're going to need another Round Boy or something. And Set Pass. Bouncing all of the cards on the field because, what, we're calling three times or something? Is that how that works? Link monsters on the field? Battle phase attack with the Druze Worm, negate with the Apollosa, chain battle fader! <gasps> oh, we got princess in the grave from like turn one to negate. And, uh. Wait, you can keep using it! Oh, it's not once per turn! <laughs> Crash the battle fader. Evenly matched! Oh, <laughs> things are happening! <laughs> things are happening! Oh, oh! Hold! 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 All right, we've got a 7,500 attack singularity here. Is this the end of the duel? Is this the end of the duel? I'm on the edge of my fucking seat right now, dude. Holy crap. Draw two here. Regulus. That's a negate now. Battle phase. Attack. Final blow. Bestial Druid's Worm. Summons the Druid's Worm. Bounces it back to the hand with the singularity here. Do we have anything else in the hand here? Was that a bait? Direct attack. It connects finally. 8,500 damage. Holy crap. What a game. That was, uh... <laughs> I thought he had him for a moment. All right, we've got Dragon Link. Yep, Dragon Link. Uh, but there is some Dragoonity cards in the hand here, so you know that this is going to be um, quote-unquote to Dragon Link. We've got Dark Worm in the deck. That's never a good news for this. Link away into Striker Dragon. Uh-huh, and there's Boot Sector launch. Legasus summons itself here. we got Remus coming out here because we control Dragon Revere. It's Gadier. It's Gadier. Gadier. Like, Zephyros was designed to work with Dragoonity. Like, he might as well be a Dragoonity card. I feel, I feel like Zephyros has been more of a card in Dragoonity over the years than it has in actual Blackwing, weirdly enough here. Uh, Mistleton gets the Tribute Summon, which equips the the um, the Gadier. We get to summon the Gadier because we have Dragoonity Glow in the graveyard because it summons equipped cards. Two level sixes. It means that we can summon out of the deck here for Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon, bringing back Gadier, who is, uh, yep, not once per turn. Discards the Samsara, Ara, 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 Samsara. Okay, this is where the combo is deviating a little bit, shall we say. You don't normally go into Saryujo in Dragoonity, let me tell you that. And you definitely don't search Amor Phages. Piss! Uh, we love that card here. Not quite LP, but he's going to bring back Gadir. That's like the fifth Gadir of the turn here. Uh, Gadir is, uh, yep, just going to search for more here eventually. Oh, we're going to use the hand effect of the uh, Odd Eyes, getting another Amor Factor to our hand here. Gadir is going to search Ringo Worm, it looks like. We're going to go into Crystal Wing Dragon. Finally, we're playing around Nibiru. Uh, link these away into Main Monster Zone Seals, by the way. Samsara Ara 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 adds back the Mistleton, which tributes over the seals. The seals then gets the trigger and summon a Jargon out the deck. Here we're gonna go for uh, Tempest. Contact Fuse into Trishala, by the way, to add Gram from the deck to the hand here. 
Ringo Worm banishing to summon a token now. Dragon Ravine up into this uh, Peter Griffin here to explain the combo. First, we're going to send with uh, Dragon Ravine to add a Rocket Tracer with the Absoluter. We're going to activate double scales here and Pendulum Summon, by the way, into El Savagio, which equips a link to negate cards. Savage Dragon summons the Goliath here. This Peter Griffin summons Christia. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're cooking here. Let's see what we're cooking here. You might be wondering, what the hell is this board here? Okay, so Christia says you can't special summon. Goliath, um, also, okay, that's not relevant. The pe the Pendulum Effect of Lechery says neither player can activate spell cards. The Amorphage Greed says neither player can activate trap cards. Um, I think that's it. So we can't special summon or use spells and traps. So how do we out this board? Well, we're going to need the... Uh, we're going to need some balls, is basically what this is going to come down to. And he does not have it. GG. That's a full lock right there. All right. Uh, Nordics. All right. Okay. Let's see where this goes. We're going to set up the basic dragon back combo here. Ivaldi searches Svalin into the Nordic Ascendant. We're going to banish three monsters here. Oh, okay. We're just... We have a vanilla dog. Loki! We're not making Odin. We're making Loki here. Okay. All right. Draw. When the golem is lava. Set four. Set four. All right. What can we do here? We're going to take a thousand. Going to go and Fateful Adventure. Wait! That's illegal! And into the dog, into another Nordic Link 1 here. Banishing 3, summoning 3. Ivaldi, add a Gungnir from deck to the hand here. That's the trap card. Now we got the second uh, Norse god on the field. It's Odin. Storming Mirror Force into Drowning Mirror Force into Svalin into regular Mirror Force! <laughs> Oh my god, what a chain here. Okay, uh, Odin apparently can't be destroyed here. Witch's Strike! Witch's Strike summon double Odin! What? <laughs> if an Acer in your possession is sent to grade by an opponent's card effect, banish this and special an Acer from your extra deck. There you go. Double Odin for game through triple Mirror Force Witch's Strike. Alright, this is, uh, we're playing against Dart Worlds here. Okay. Dark world. Interesting. Not really that impressive, is it? Not really. Like, you, you know, we did all of that. Oh, wow. Okay. Tribute with Lava Golem. Battle phase. Runic Slumber. Summon Jerry. Attack Crash. Take 33. Inferno Tempest Summon. Banishing cards in the opponent's deck equal to the number you took times 100 or something like that. Bye bye deck! And Gentleman activates, brings itself back here, crashes, end of battle phase when the match is even, activates the effect of evenly matched here, has to negate with Grafa. We couldn't negate the uh, Inferno Tempest because I think it was the damage step, that's why we didn't do that. Why are you using Dark World Archives? You have two cards left in your deck, sir. Activate tip, there you go, well done. Well, do well done. Well, you absolute foolish amphibian, there it is. Flashing fire for exactly three cards. And pass. Pass. Cards cannot be drawn from deck. All right, we have to get Dart World in there somewhere. It looks like... <laughs> uh, we have a communism replay. Time to Rebel is playing Oppressed People and Huge Revolution. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what the Soviet Union has to say about Dart Worlds, but I guess they did kind of turn Ukraine into a bit of a Dart World, so, you know, there is that. Bouncing the Lucent, the Rainbow, and the, what's it called? We're gonna card destruction all of the oppressed people here, and now we're gonna trigger a million Dart Worlds right now, uh, as well as this Rainbow. That's a thick chain if I ever did see one. Oh, now we're gonna maxi. What's our next play here? Into Duger Ass. Who's going to detach two here to draw two, discard for the Jackalope. Summons a seven here, links up at the Saryuja. Saryuja gets the draw, fixes the hand here, and now it's time for Yujo Friendship. Offer your opponent a handshake into Unity. And now we're going to Zombie Vampire, mill four, special summon back the Mothman. And then we're going to bounce some more cards to the hand here. Just to recap, if you don't know what that does, Unity says... Select the monster on your side of the field. The defense of the Select Mall becomes equal to the defense of the original defense of all combined monsters on the field. And I think you can only activate this after uh, friendship or something. I don't actually know what happened with the uh, handshake. Did he accept it? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Uh, it's time for Curious. Okay, we're doing more nonsense here. Sending United Resistance from deck to the hand. Okay. Try White. Summoning Oppressed People. 
people running about. Two oppressed people and one uh, people running about. Then we're going to Monster Reborn for the United Resistance. <laughs> this card can only be activated during your main phase. When people running about oppressed people and united resistance are face up on your side of the field, send all cards in your opponent's hand to the graveyard and destroy all cards your opponent controls on the field. <laughs> Standby phase, Judgment of the Pharaoh. Pay for 3850. What the hell does that do? Pay half your life point, it's like the appropriate effect, which can be applied. If you draw friendship is in your graveyard and unity, until the end of this turn, your opponent can't normal set, flip, or special, or activate an effect monster, and their effect monsters are negated. If unity is in your graveyard until the end of this turn, negate the effects of all spells and traps. So they are literally frozen. They can't do anything. And that is why you don't fuck with the people. Do we even have game on board? 85, just about. Nice. Resistance, running about, oppressed people, curious, and oppressed people for gain. Oppressed people have nothing to lose, but their chains. All right, Thetis has uh, a replay for us here. It's saved into a, is this from the Duelist Cup? I hope this is like a Duelist Cup replay. All right, what are we playing here? Jesus Christ, Santa Claus tier limit, that's a deck. We're gonna send Havness, Havness effect. Getting bestialed. That's not ideal. We're off to a bad start here. Gonna max C and try and draw something. Your opponent has three bestials, by the way. Chain the worm is druid. Uh, why are we summoning druids worm, though? There's no point, right? We still banish the max, the haveness regardless. Oh, I guess it denies a singular draw. That's fair. Uh, Yazi! Hold. Popping druid's worm. But anything you summon gets sent here, right? Wait, what? Oh, I guess at the time of activation of Drew's Worm, there's nothing on the field, technically. Never mind. Okay, alright. What does one single Mare Mare do in Yu-Gi-Oh? What does a single copy of Mare Mare do? I'm gonna go into Dark the Dark Charmer. I'm gonna steal the Drew's Worm. <laughs> Be steals their own Drew's Worm. I like this opponent's name, by the way. Be steal Joy. When are they planning on activating this, um... This, what's it called? This, uh... uh that guy. Phantasme. We got two monsters on the field. Hello? Okay, we're gonna Talents now for Thrust. I'm gonna thrust. You have a royal talents, by the way. Activate the effect. We're gonna steal the Saraneer. And synchro for this Peter Griffin here. About to special summon to manage monsters here. Ooh, brings back Havness. Uh, links away into cr a Curious. He does criticize society here. There we go. Now we're gonna drop the Phantasme. I feel like we should have done this a little bit later, but fine. Special summons. Draws two. Puts one back here. And uh, we're gonna get a copy of Destrudo sending Shiren. Shiren triggers with the uh, Curious here. Uh, this is going to be some milling, I suppose, with Kit Kalos. Kit Kalos! She did nothing wrong. Release her. Going to add Scream here. Scream adds Meta Noise. Add Shire into the hand with the Kit Kalos. Discards Medora. Mills 3 here. Solik and Heartbeat Trigger. All right. We're adding tier cards. These are tier cards. Fair enough. Special summon the Cash tier. Banishing. Milling 3 more. Kit Kalos effect. Brings back Rhino. Send yourself now. Mills 5 more. Overlays up into Chaka 9. Chaka 9 for Dryden. And Kaiju's for Santa Claus. Pops Santa Claus. And passes turn. Please don't tell me that the entire point of this replay was for you to summon Santa Claus to your opponent's fields just so you can destroy it. Was that the was that the joke? Was that the whole gimmick of this replay was Pop Santa Claus? There's no shot. That's what you did. That's the joke. She killed Christmas. <laughs> Alright, we are playing Kashtira, surely. Looks like a cash tier hand here. E for Stratos. Normal summon Stratos. Stratos gonna add Liquid Soldier. Then we're gonna go Sakitama. Extra normal summon or normal summon. Yeah, that's normal summon of spirit. Into Gallant Granite, which we're gonna hit with Ash. But sometimes they just always have it. I guess sometimes they always have it. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, we're gonna use the turtle here for the extra normal summon of a water. Bringing back the Stratos with the Liquid Soldier, and all once per turn to add from deck to the hand here a hero. Now it's time for Sir Yuja. I've never, I've never in my life seen Sir Yuja special summoned in uh, heroes. So this is going to be something special, I think, here. Oh, Neospatian Marine Dolphin. <laughs> Destroy the Kaiju in the hand here. 
Contact fuse into elemental hero Marine Neos. Hand looping with with the uh, with the Neos. Back into the Zelantis, which resets the soft ones per turn effect here of the Marine Neos. Draw for turn, Birth Maxi. Nice hand, Kashtira Bozo. Getting hand looped by heroes. Attempts to hand loop the final card here. That's Maxi. Is that going to be uh, it? Stratos pops the Birth. Summon this, and boom, boom, boom. Very nice. <laughs> God, imagine queuing up to ranked and your opponent summons Neo Spatians. In Diamond 4, no less. Congratulations. You lost to heroes. Neo Spatians, really, even worse than that, if you think about it. All right, we've got... Well, I see a Pearl Rhino and a hero and a Malefic. So... We've got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, now, now there's two warriors on the field. I called it. Add Liquid Soldier. Send 4. Summon Stratos. Is Azolde Send 4 for Stratos the new Send 4 Summon Armageddon Knight? Is that the, the new Summon Armageddon Knight combo? Wow, Tailwind of Gusto, by the way. Just saying. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go Selene here. That's gonna bring back the uh, Summoner Monk. This is the new combo. Oh, Treasure Panda! Okay, we're not summoning Exodia pieces. We're summoning, uh, who's this? Key Mace. Uh, in reference to Memento as an archetype. Smile. Summoning out another Key Mace here. Alright, what are we doing with it? What, what's the cook on this one? Because there's a Future Fusion and a Pearl of Rhino in the hand here. Whoa, Synchro Fusionist. I love that card. So that's going to add a Fusion card from deck to the hand here. Oh, it doesn't trigger because I guess you only play Future Fusion as your target. Okay. Banish to summon Galaxy Serpent. That's how we make Ib if we really want to. Ancient Fairy Dwagon. Bought the field spell. Not yet. Okay, we're going to give our opponent more tokens with Moki Moki, by the way. Uh, Piss. That's going to bring back Brotar. What are we adding with Brotar? Brotar target Moki Moki add the world. All right. I can see a little bit of a synergy developing right now, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. So you just summon the world. Effect of the world. Turn skip your opponent into future fusion. Tribute to skip your opponent's turn. Future fusion now gets to resolve in our standby phase. But first, we're going to resolve the thing here. Flipping the coin here. We're going to send Overtex and Snow to the graveyard. De Banishing Despian Comedy and the Future Fusion. Okay. Where are you going with this, sir? Four Material Alumbertion to detach four to add Uradora of Fate. Ha! Huh. Okay. Add Sharon with the Pearl of Rhino. Double Evolution Pill. Summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And activate a new field spare. We're going to go chicken game. Uradora of Fate activates now, which is a card that says pay a thousand. Target face a monster control. It gains a thousand until the end of your opponent's turn. If it does apply its effect to the end of your opponent's turn, each time it destroys a monster by battle. Reveal the bottom card of your deck and place it on the top or the bottom of your deck. If the revealed card was a dragon, dino, sea serpent, or worm, draw one for every thousand attack of that monster. All right. Let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to summon snow from the graveyard. And uh, that's always a fun fair card. Into Time Thief Redoer. Redoer effect into the Shiren Fusion for Mud Dragon. Battle phase. Attack, draw five. Attack, draw five. Attack, draw five. Bad chest! <laughs> Holy shit! Turn skipping to resolve the future fusion to dump the snow in the graveyard using Oradora. To give your uh, Tyranno the ability to draw cards for every attack. And because Tyranno naturally attacks everything, uh, you get to draw multiple cards a turn, finishing your opponent off with Exodia. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Chat. We have one final replay. One final replay. Would it really be a table 500 without him? Someone's here. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who have never seen the beauty, the power, the extension that this has dominated the Yu-Gi-Oh! replay sphere, it is Yajiro, Invader. A very simple monster who likes to travel. Yajiro Invader reads, Whenever your opponent special summons a monster, 
you can move Yajiro Invader to that zone so that it is moving one zone closer and closer to the zone it was special summoned in. Every single time we special summon exactly one monster, the Yajiro Invader moves to that zone. And by proxy, that means we can trigger a whole bunch of special cards in our deck, like for example, Shark Cruiser, which says special summon two fish from the deck when your opponent special uh, when your when their opponent destroys this card. Now we're gonna trigger the Curious and Awaking the Dragon here, adding it back with the Curious. Shark Cruiser triggers again, summoning two here. Set the Waking the Dragon into Dugares. Dugares gets moving, uh, move the zone over into Baron the Floor as our first extra deck target here. Dugares brings back Armored White Bear, which goes into the Flying Elephant. The Flying Elephant has the effect where if it would be destroyed by card effect, you can pretend it. And on the following turn, if this card has been destroyed, you win the duel. We're going to destroy the uh, Wraith. And this on the opponent's standby by tagging it with Baron. Moving closer to the Flying Elephant here. Yajiro Invader triggers twice. Oh my god, move to the Flying Elephant. Move to the Neko main came to skip the turn. Pass, end phase, Flying Elephant. Draw, standby main. Battle phase, skip because of Dugares. We're gonna attack over the Yajiro Invader. Punch for 1850. And because we dealt da battle damage with Flying Elephant, you win the duel. Short and sweet, honestly. Normally these Yajiro loops take like 20 minutes. There you go. Flying Elephant says, once per turn, if this card would be destroyed, it has not been destroyed. And during the end phase, if that effect was applied, apply the following effect. And during the next turn, if this inflicts battle damage by a direct attack, you win the duel. There you go. GG. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and victor of Table Cinquecento 2023 Christmas is... Uradora Dino Oxodia. Deep draw Dino... Turn skip world. Batches. You love to see it. All right. That is the victor for now. Thank you, everyone who's been watching on YouTube. Comment, like, and subscribe with your favorite replay from this episode.